Welcome to Design Discussions with Nadine. I'm Nadine and we are in KBiz 2024 right now and I'm actually sitting with Joe DeCasparis. Thank you so much for sitting with me. He's a very talented interior designer from Southern California. So we're gonna talk about some great things with him and highlight the fact that he designed this amazing FKS. So, Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. I so appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So how did you get into interior design? I know you were from New York and yes. it's kind of a whirlwind kind of thing. So let's talk a little bit it about was, that. It was, it was. So growing up, I always wanted to be an architect. I didn't quite know how to get into the career, or into that opportunity. And so when it came time to go to or look at after high school, I ended up going to Chapman University in Orange County and I studied public relations and advertising. It was a great base for business. Like, you know, I could figure this out. Uh, my freshman year, I took out a ton of student loans, but I also was given a mortgage, which was awesome. So I actually purchased my first home at the age of 18. That's amazing. Yes. And I had about a year to figure it out. I could either flip it or turn it into a forever home. The latter happened. And as I renovated it, I did all the electrical. I tiled the entire house myself, plumbing, drywall. Uh, I'll never tile my house again. Uh, when I renovated the kitchen, I worked with this amazing cabinet company. I asked for an internship. So while I was in school, I was working there. Within six months, I was basically a partner in the company and just kept going and going and going. That's, like I said, that was whirlwind. <laughs> it so was. That, that's amazing, you know, and it, it really seems like you're really passionate about what you do. Yeah. And you're involved with the NKBA, Southern California chapter president. Yes. So that's amazing. So how did you get into that and what made you want to be involved with the NKBA yeah. in that way? Yeah, so, in, and that was also a whirlwind. I was still in school at the time and I was working full time while also going to school. And my cabinet ref was like, hey, you should really check out NKBA, there's events. And one of the first events I went to was a Taco Tuesday, like five minutes from my college. And I was like, great, I'm gonna go to Taco Tuesday at NKBA, then I'm gonna go to Taco Tuesday with my friends afterward. And that first meeting, I looked around and I knew no one. And I'm like, you know what? I'm never gonna have this experience again. I'm going to start meeting people, asking for insight, advice. Uh, and then Nicole Cooper, who was serving as the chapter president at that time, really just said, hey, let's get you in this industry. Let's make it happen for you. I always say about her uh, that, quote, when you get to the top, send the elevator back down. And she did that for me. That's it was amazing. awesome. And then served as the communications chair, transitioned into the president role, and we're just having fun with it. That's great. Yeah. So how did you get the opportunity to design this booth? Because this is beautiful. There's three yeah. different sections here yes. that you designed, right? Yes. So how did you how did you get that opportunity to be so and KBA? Here we are in KBA with KBiz. Uh with my in 2020, I was honored as a 30 under 30 with the NKBA. And Signature Kitchen Suite is a huge partner and sponsor rather of the NKBA and the 30 under 30 program. I went to the Napa Experience Center in 2021. It was amazing and kept in touch with them. Uh, and they presented this opportunity. I was uh, like, oh my gosh, absolutely yes. And we've been working on this uh, for the past half year or so, putting it together. You'll see throughout the display, there's three different areas. There's a new transitional kitchen that we're in front right now. So they have brand new finishes on their double ovens, wine columns, refrigerators. Had some fun with the color, a little bit more playful. I love that. I love the, I love the hardware. Yeah, right? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it almost looks like, when I first look at it, it looks like, like a trunk. Yes. From an old yep. um, suitcase or something. And that's beautiful. Yeah, bringing the old and new together, playing off of the hardware and the handles was awesome. My favorite part of this booth, we did an olive oil tasting. So throughout the show, you can go test out um, different olive oils from Napa. I host a personal party twice a year. And for my summer party, I do an olive oil tasting. And I was like, we have to do that. Everyone loves it. And so we were able to make that happen here, oh, that's, which is awesome. That, that's really amazing. Yeah. I love that. So I'll touch a little bit on how I actually got connected with Joe here. Last year, um, at last year's KBiz, he spoke and I was so moved by a lot of the things that you were saying and so many of the things that you spoke about uh, in that talk really helped and affected my company and how I'm doing things now. And I loved it. And, and I'm so happy that you said, we'll sit down and talk with me and um, you know, an honor. finally meet yeah. face to face right? and talk from the man that really helped <laughs> me push my company in another direction no. so yeah, i so appreciate hearing that just i i want to say thank you i am so grateful for those words that's, that's yeah. awesome you don't realize the impact you get to make by just being present and active and engaged exactly so really cool. and that you know i always look at it like you know if i can help change one person or help one person you know yeah. and that i think people can say that but it's truly it's it's yeah. true yeah. and you did that for me so i'm so happy thank you thank you thank you 
So on a fun note, uh, I want to talk about some maybe fun story. As an interior designer, you know, or myself being in construction, there are so many funny things that happen. So is there something funny that you can share that may have happened over the time? We've had a lot of really awesome clients, and I love seeing the pathway that I get to meet the clients. Um, I would say one of the funnier stories, and they're just great people. I worked for a homeowner um, local to me. She introduced me to one of her coworkers. Then her coworker introduced me to her ex-husband, and we just kept going down the renovation train, which was awesome. So we had we we renovated like the entire family's work, um, and I think that's not so much the I guess funny. It's just awesome to see how it travels, how it transforms. Uh, we're upcoming. We're going to be doing uh, uh, kids of a, a kitchen that we did their parents of back in 2018. So just seeing the legacy and how it yeah. keeps going is really special. That's great. I mean, the the word of mouth for people, of course, in this business is yeah. huge. But when you can actually then do that for multiple people in the family, that's I'm sure that's fun. That's it by is. The end of it, the stories, you yeah, like, you're you're part of the family. Yeah, you know awesome. everybody then. Yeah, and I guess another fun story related to the second part of it with the um, the parents' kitchen and then the kids' kitchen. Uh, we we try to incorporate a series of gifting throughout our client experience, making sure they always feel loved and celebrated throughout the process. And one of those clients, the parents, uh, we renovated their kitchen and there was a little bit of a challenge with some of the cabinetry it came in incorrectly manufactured. Our cabinet rep graciously gave us a great gift card to a local restaurant. I gave them that gift card to a local restaurant. And then it was about an hour from where I live, but I was seeing a friend and we went to a spin class. We were all sweaty. We went to this restaurant and I was like, Emily, I can't go into this restaurant. Like we are sweating. She goes, I do it all the time. You're good. I ran into those clients I'm completely sweaty from this workout. And they were, and they actually knew the person I was with. It was a great full circle moment. Yeah. So I was like, oh gosh, can't go anywhere without a sightseeing. Right? Yeah. Well, that's fine. People got to see, you know, you're an interior designer. That's always probably put together when you meet <laughs> with people, but you're, you're, you're human, yes, right? Exactly. You're a real exactly. guy that, you know, works out and you know, that's great. All over. Yes. I love that. So we're definitely going to show some more footage of all of the designs from these kitchens. That's amazing. So you can see the design in this booth. All right, so then let's talk about your, your interior design business. Yeah. What you do there, what um, what do you necessarily focus on as far as um, I'm out there's uh, everybody has their own kind of way of how they approach things or how they how they do their designs. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we're based in Southern California, about 30 minutes north of Temecula Wine Country, but we cover areas Orange County, San Diego, Riverside County, sometimes LA, and we produce luxury kitchens and bathrooms. We have a great team uh, that we're continue to build, and we have two different segments where we do the direct design with our homeowners and guide them through the entire process for their kitchen, bathroom, whole home, new build. And then we also work with interior designers to help them produce kitchens for their clients. As we're licensed general contractors, so we're able to handle cabinetry, counters, backsplash, install, and the uh, full renovation. One-stop shop. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. It was fun. And you get to meet those people through NKBA, through other industry networking events, and, and let this whole community rise together. I know. I love NKBA and what they do. I attend a lot of events in Houston. I'm close with the chapter president there. Um, we talk a lot about different things, and I think it's very important for people to get involved yeah. with their local NKBA, Absolutely. wherever they are, to network. Because it's, it's so important. And you form friendships and relationships and you know all the things. So it's great. So I love it. All interconnected. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much Thank again, you. Joe. I appreciate you sitting and talking with me and, and good luck for the rest of the show. And until then, stay tuned for the next one.